We, we started this study because uh, it was so obvious for our patients that the pain was uh, a lot lower with Navilas and we wanted to prove it. Uh, so we used an, uh, a visual scale of pain uh, after performing the regular PRP with the classic multi-spot laser and after the Navilas and the results are quite amazing since uh, the pain with um, the classic multi-spot laser is around 7 out of 10 which is uh, quite a lot of pain for the patient whereas it is around 2 out of 10 uh, for the Navilas laser. We also studied the, the time um, needed to perform a full session of PRP between uh, the two lasers and actually the um, PRP session using Navilas was quicker and that's probably because um, since the patient didn't feel any pain we could do uh, the whole treatment in one time and uh, they didn't jump back because of the pain. For a full PRP, I usually do uh, three sessions. Most of the PRP is completed with two sessions, when 1,500 to 2,000 spots. And uh, I use the third session just to complete the, the small peripheral uh, retinal zone uh, that were, were not treated yet. Always changing because in the extreme periphery, the you can't use the same power that you used in the middle periphery. Mm -hmm. So that if I treat the middle periphery with 340 mm -hmm. milliwatts, mm -hmm. I can treat the extreme periphery with the same power. And normally I I treat the extreme periphery with a power of 200, 220. The, the only and really, really rare case where we could need it would be a patient who couldn't stand on a, sh on a chair or, yeah. or on a wheelchair. But, but, but otherwise, uh, we can always reach the, the far periphery with the Navilas, so uh, we never need uh, an IO for far periphery. To learn how to, to perform a perfect PRP with Navilas. I think that we are comfortable after one week, so after 10, 15 patients. And for it to be faster, I think that we have to perform almost 20 patients to be faster and very effective. We, we, we really were concerned by this issue. That's why we performed OCT uh, before, and before and after, laser. after laser. And, uh, and usually now we know how to, to, to put the coverage settings. Mm -hmm. We almost never ever have um, RPA damage on big microorganisms. No. For example, for macular edema uh, caused by uh, microaneurysm, we, we, we never treated microaneurysm that were too close. Mm -hmm. um, when we got Navilas, we started to treat microaneurysm that were um, outside of the 3 center millimeters mm -hmm. uh, circle. And um, as we saw uh, now with the experience that it really is precise, we now treat uh, microaneurysm within the first millimeter, which are really, really close, and we would never have uh, treated without Navilas.